Hi everyone, welcome back to another animation tutorial in Adobe After Effects. In this video, you will learn how to animate illustrations in After Effects. You can download the project file linked in the description. So let's get started. Here is the composition settings. Select all layers except the line layer and move them forward. Click on the pen tool, deselect the fill, then set the stroke value to 95. Create a line similar to the existing one and ensure it overlaps. Move the stroke layer here and add a trim path. Open the trim path properties and create a keyframe. Move it forward in the timeline and decrease the value. The keyframe will automatically appear here. Select the keyframes and press F9 to ease them. Then adjust the animation graph like this. Click on track mat and select the line layer. Now let's check the animation. You can adjust the keyframes by moving them in the timeline to achieve better timing. Now let's animate the lamp. Move the layer here to set the start position for the lamp animation. Press Y on the keyboard and move the anchor point right here. To adjust the size of the lamp, we will need to use scale properties. Press S to open it and put a keyframe. Move it forward on the timeline and put another one. Now press V and adjust the size like this one using your mouse. Move the keyframe to the middle on the timeline, then drag it down until it disappears. Select all keyframes and ease them, click on the animation graph, and adjust it similar to this one. Here is how it looks. So, let's check the animation. The lamp is a bit slow though. Let's adjust the graph editor again. Now here is how it looks. You can also play around with the graph and find a better result. Now let's preview again. It looks nice, so I think we can move forward. Select the plant layer and move it on the timeline to set a starting time. Then press P for position properties and create a keyframe. Then adjust the value over here and start keyframe will appear on the timeline. Put a time indicator in the middle and create an overshoot animation like this. Select all keyframes and press F9 to ease them. Open the graph and let's find the right timing here. If you are enjoying it so far, please hit the like button and subscribe for more animation tutorials like this. Also, feel free to check out other animation tutorials on my channel. So I think this one should do it. Now let's create a bending effect. Click Window, Effects and Presence. Search for the CC Bender effect and apply it to the layer. Fix the anchor points like this. Click here and press U to reveal keyframes. Move the keyframe to set an ending position, then copy and paste it for the start position, so they will be the same. After that, move the time indicator in the middle and adjust the amount to create a bending effect. Now let's make him bend to the opposite side when it overshoots. Put an indicator here, adjust the amount, and the keyframe will appear on the timeline. Now select all keyframes and ease them by pressing F9. By pressing and holding Alt, you can control the speed of keyframes like this. Let's move this keyframe a bit forward. Now it looks nice. Let's move the sofa layer here on the timeline. Now we know when his action starts. Press Y and move the anchor point all the way down here. Now, press S4 Scale Properties. 
Create a keyframe and move it further. Press V and adjust the size of the sofa like this. Move the keyframe to the middle. And for the starting position, press V again and squeeze the sofa until it disappears. Ease the keyframes and open the animation graph. Let's adjust the timing. Open the graph editor. Create a graph similar to this one. Let's move this layer right here on the timeline to complete the action. Moving forward, let's bring our character to the animation scene. Set the layer here on the timeline and create two position keyframes. Move the start position a bit right and ease the keyframes. Adjust the graph editor, similar to this one for smoother animation. I animated the pillow layer scale properties using the same technique we applied in this tutorial. Moving forward, let's create a new composition. I am using this paper background for this animation. Let's fix the scale. Now, let's bring our animation composition to the timeline and adjust the scale properties. Double-click on the composition and delete the background here. If you want, you can select the Multiply and Blending options. Now let's check how it looks. To make it a bit more bright, let's search for the curves effect and apply it to the layer. Adjust the curves to make it brighter. Let's check how it looks. That should do it. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.